How's it going, YouTube? My name is Sir Tail. As you may know on my other channel, I'm known as Tail or Statless Series. I have some gameplay for you. Bioshock Infinite. Um, I ran at full resolution, 1920 by 1080, ultra graphics. Um, unfortunately, Fraps went a little shit on me, and frames started dropping a little bit. And it's just a bad setup video that I unfortunately have to upload. Uh, as well as my voice recording, because I was going to make this uh, commentary originally. So, uh, it's just a straight gameplay storyline, of course. So, I'm going to leave the gameplay to you guys, and I'll uh, talk to you later. Booker, are you afraid of God? No, but I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I haven't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, but we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? With that chain gun. We might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I, I guess you're expecting me. that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello? Huh. 
Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get paid. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Constable. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at old knee and not raped, is it someone new, someone from the Sodom below, Newly come to Columbia to be watered clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away, Mr. Dewitt. Mr. Dewitt. Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. A sword of gold, so that even I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Our fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware. With flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me Paragon and lend me strength. A rebel against Shield ignorance and tyranny. And fear and Share with me your so wisdom and let the light of the There's no chance, no luck, only providence. And that you see. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. of our dear lady Comstock, our beloved mother of forgiveness. Come on. 
Picking the right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. You can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. Warm temperatures and light variable wind throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. Would you care for a boutonniere? The raising one. So what good would living do be? God only knows what I'd be without you. They said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Lutess. What the? Good day to you, sir. Hello. about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vicar? One swig and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked first. Right in the sky. Yes, sir, so was originally by having lessons. Voxophone! Voxophone! Say something, Sonny! What's a Voxophone? What's a Voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Alexander Hot Dogs! Columbia's fine! He's big. He's bold. He's the amazing handy. 
Man. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. Have you ever seen anything like it? You look so sad. Sad? When you're that strong, what's there to be sad about? With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to You're one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. <laughs> Press to turn machines into allies. What the hell was that? Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the Rattle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. Always good to have gentlemen of your caliber at our fine fairgrounds. I bet he could lift that entire booth over his head. Oh, but no. Heads. Four tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Tails. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. It's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance. A charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. 
That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Uh, what do you know? Over here! Over here! He's looking! Number 77, come and claim your prize! First throw! Throw it, or are you taking your coffee black these days? I'm the one you want. Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Come on now. Wait, <laughs> it's him. <laughs> now, where'd you get that brand? Boy? <laughs> Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? <laughs> And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Possession now turns machine and man into allies. Hold and release to create a ghostly trap. Son of a bitch is in the park! Cut him off! Don't let him escape!
getting hot. What's going on? No sample. Why are you following me? We were already here. Why are you following us? I... A pair of teeth. Just what the doctor wanted. between life and death. What was that? Surprising. Surprising that it worked? Surprising that it didn't kill him. But a magnetic repulsive field around one's body can come in handy. If it doesn't kill you. A fair point.
father, Comstock, called on me today to write his biograph. Me. The man pays for exactly 100 pages in advance. Now, I'm half a Jew when I smell silver, so I say, I say, father, your flock would pay for a thousand. You know, well, I'd settle for less. And then the prophet looks to me and says, 100 will suffice as I know how it ends. Must be magnetized. to do how they treat them it was bound to happen violence is not a foregone conclusion <laughs>
time Shot came by the wagon at dawn. Man was just... He just transfixed by my trophy scalps. Asked about the white ones there. I said, well, sir, if your quarry dwells in the jungle and beds down with the local color, why split hairs? <laughs> Not a chuckle out of him. Either he ain't seen a man go native, or maybe... Maybe too many. Anyhow, now he's got me hunting down this Daisy Fitzroy. Hope he don't expect me to stuff and mount her. 